but this is just a pretty simple concept for the turkeys and it worked really good like i said 21 to 34 pound turkeys i mean that's just huge i had a lot of questions asked since i did the video last week on processing our turkeys i'm gonna link that video right here so if you guys want to go click and watch that video on how we process our turkeys you can go ahead and watch that um, a lot of the questions themselves were kind of on the turkeys themselves and how we raise them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a quick little overview in this video. So the breed of the turkey was a broad-breasted white turkey and they came from Ridgeway Hatchery in Ohio. Down in the show notes below, I'll put the um, link to the website if you wanna go check them out. The first batch of turkeys we did, which are the ones you guys saw in the video, those were 19 weeks old. Those two turkeys weighed 21 and 24 pounds when they were all said and done. The following weekend, I did the other two turkeys that we had. So they were 20 weeks old, and they weighed 31 and 34 pounds. Pretty big turkeys. I'll have to take you guys in, and I'll have to show you the, the birds, what they look like now. So this is a 34-pound monster. They're a big turkey, they're almost too big, I think. I like the 21 to 24 pound range. So next year I'll have to do, I'll have to process the turkeys probably around 18 to 19 weeks. Um, how we raise them is up right here behind me. I got our chicken tractors that I built. So we kept the turkeys in one of the chicken tractors. We moved them once to twice daily. Most of the time it was two times daily in the summer. Once we hit the fall time and the grass wasn't growing as quick, I just moved them once a day. So they've been out on fresh pasture all year, growing, eating grass, eating bugs, loving it. The meat is delicious. The other thing we were doing, believe it or not, I fed them grain, but I didn't get too fussy. we I don't know how much grain I fed them, to be honest with you. I was just feeding them organic egg layer pellets. I didn't get special grain for meat birds or for turkeys. I just said, I'm gonna keep this simple. I like simple things. I'm just gonna feed them the same thing that I feed the egg laying chickens. So I just fed them the organic pellets. Keep it simple, right? It worked. We got 21 to 34 pound turkeys in 19 to 20 weeks. I mean, it did awesome. You don't have to worry about what kind of grain you feed them. You don't gotta worry about the protein content and the, this crude content and all the stuff. Just have them out on pasture. They can get what they need off the grass and off the land and then feed them a good grain. That's the big thing. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you inside of the turkey or chicken tractor, whatever you wanna call it. This is kind of my own design, so if you want, I'll leave a link here right now for how I built these, and I'll you know, kind of give you an overview. But we'll go in and I'll show you how it's all set up. Main design of the uh, shelter is these hoop panels. These are just cattle panels. I made my frame out of two by fours, framed them up the end walls, and then I put a header, and I just bent the panels up and around. Um, you could probably make it a little bit wider and it wouldn't add any more weight. Next time I built one, which I don't know if I'll need to build any of this coming spring, but next time I do build one, I'm gonna to try to go a little bit wider. It's not gonna add any more weight. The only thing it will do is it'll cut down the height, and that was kind of one of my big concerns, but this has worked really good. We've been able to raise our laying hens out here on pasture, our meat birds on them, our ducks, and our turkeys. We have three of them going when we need them in the springtime. So, I just did a simple water nippler, hooked up on the outside to a five gallon pail, and then I just got the feeder right here, and I just keep that uh, filled with feed for them all day long, and then I move them every day. I try to keep it moved twice a day, once in the morning before I go to work, and then when I get home from work, I move them again. We have greenhouse plastic on this. A lot of people gave me a hard time about that. It's gonna heat up. Where we are in northern New Hampshire, in the springtime it's cold, the fall it's cold and snowy. Um, the greenhouse plastic worked awesome for us. You can just roll up the sides, and it's about halfway rolled up, and you get plenty of airflow. If you live in a warmer climate, don't use the plastic. I'll go show you the ones where we put the meat birds in when we raise them because they're a little bit more finicky for heat. But this is just a pretty simple concept for the turkeys and it worked really good. Like I said, 21 to 34 pound turkeys. I mean, that's just huge. Hopefully the 34 pounder fits in our oven. We're gonna find out we're doing a Friendsgiving in January and the 34 pound turkey. We're saving for the Friendsgiving, so watch out. We'll let you know how that works. Here are the other two 
chicken tractors that I have here on the property that we've been using. This one over here is set up with a nest box in the back for the egg layers when we had them out on pasture. I'm gonna change that setup for them and do something different this coming spring. And then over here, the one with the white tarp, that was the meat birds. I did more of a white top to reflect the heat because meat birds are more acceptable to heat stress and dying from heat. So I'm gonna bring you over there and I'll show you that one right now. So when we built our house, we used all, we sourced the pine boards that we could all locally from a local mill and we bought them in four foot by four foot by 16 foot long bundles. And this is the tarp that the woods was covered in. So we just repurposed it and we've used it for this. So that's why the sides are covered up as high as they are. This is what we had and it worked really good. The back, we got a flap. Worked awesome for us. Probably go to a lumber yard and get the top or canvas, whatever you want to call it, that they have like a two by six pallet covered in. Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, any of that local lumber yards. I bet you could, would have them and give them to you easy enough. They'd probably just throw them in the trash. So other than that, the setup is pretty much the same as the one I did the turkeys in. You got the water in the back. I had the feeder hanging there. And I just got the five gallon pail water just hanging there, so keeping it out from the weather. Now just while we're over here, I'll show you the setup for the layers tractor. Same thing, I just made I got a video on it. If I think of it, I'll put right here. I'll put the link to the video I, I have on making the nest box. It works good. It's definitely heavier to move around than the other tractors. That nest box, believe it or not, does give quite a bit of weight and it's on the back where the wheels are where you drag it, so you do feel it. So I hope I answered all your questions on the turkeys that we raised. If I didn't, leave them down in the comments below. I want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Oh,